Hello YouTubers, welcome back to another video of GQ Auto Diagnostics and Repair here. Uh, first of all, I wanted to apologize for the extra noise. Uh, getting the, the kitchen redone and nice new countertops. So they're gonna be awesome. So anyhow, so we have a 2015 uh, Ford Flex Limited 3.5 automatic all-wheel drive with an airbag code okay now we're gonna be addressing one code it is from the buckle seat driver size pre-tensioner all right so this vehicle was indeed on an accident and <clears throat> we're going to fix this first then we're gonna continue with everything else that three codes total we're gonna fix one at the time I just want to you know make a video and share it with you guys this might help some of you guys to uh, to troubleshoot or to correct this issue. All right, so let's get to it. So first of all, we're gonna have to use our scanner, so airbag. You to do this kind of repair, you do gonna have to have something to to communicate with the with the airbag system. Okay, so if you don't, well, you're gonna have to take it to a repair shop. But if you do. They're very un, uh, inexpensive scanners. They can do airbags. You don't have to have something fancy like this. So let's go into it. Okay, so we got three codes here. Okay, three codes. And well, I know you can see four right here, but actually one is the same. Repeat twice. Want to delete it. The airbag light went off away but it's going to come back on in a second there it is so when I exit here he told me that the codes were clear I'm gonna go back to the memory check boom got three codes right there so the first one is the driver seat belt buckle pretensioner deployment control circuit all right so what is that it is on the bottom here we'll show you in a minute and I have a cylinder there with a with a sensor with a resistor there okay now what we're gonna do here we're gonna go into the data okay so let's get in the data for the vehicle I'm gonna put it here hopefully you guys not too much glare and we're going to go here into the driver's seat pretensioner okay right here okay hopefully you guys can see that it's 65.54 ohms that tell us right there that number that the, the resistor there resistance is open that is like it's open it's nothing okay because ideally it should be 2.5 ohms or two between 2.3 to 2.7 the high end but it, that's what it will be now on the passenger side Mm. Pretensioner, it's the same. So, okay. So I have here a brand new. That's the part number. In case you guys wonder, from the dealership, was around a hundred bucks. Okay. In eBay it goes like a hundred and forty bucks like a lot expensive on eBay for some reason you can see there left side so we're going to replace this and when we do it we're gonna come back and recheck the reading and you will see that this should go down to 2.5 all right so I'm gonna go back here okay I'm gonna turn the scanner off Gonna disconnect it turn the vehicle off and we're gonna go and get things done 
before I forget if you, you like the video please leave your comments down below hit the like um, button subscribe to the channel so you can be notified every single time that I upload a video and if you're already a subscriber thank you for checking this video share it with somebody else you might think you might uh, benefit from this okay so one thing that I can recommend to do this make sure this is a power seat make sure you raise the seat as high as you can go so that way it can give you a little bit of access there all right so let me get the this cover goes right up against the center column so you just pop this so that way you can make a little bit more room for what you need to do next right there you can see hopefully you can see let me put the light here right there that's the bolt so it's two things you can do you can either um, remove the whole seat to um, to have the room for the socket okay because the socket here you don't have enough room here to install this is a t50 t50 okay it's not enough room to do it so what we're gonna do the way we're gonna do this from this i'm gonna pop this part with this like this i'm gonna hit it up against the ground you know what see if i get lucky oh there you go see that's it next what i'm going to do i am actually using this is a 516 because i'm trying to make it easy on myself let's see if i can do it Okay. Okay, let's see if you guys can see it. Right there is the camera. I'm holding the little part of the socket, I mean the tool straight. Now I'm gonna use this other wrench. Put it right there. There you go. And Let's see if I can do it without it. Oh my god, this is really tight. So again, you have this option, or you can actually like I said early, you can um, remove the whole seat and it's going to have a bunch of stuff underneath. Again, it's going to be up to you. Please like the video, share the video, comment, subscribe to the channel, please. That will help me to stay motivated to take the time to. Uh, to make this video and share it with YouTube and hopefully down the road anybody some of you guys somewhere around the world can fix their car save a bunch of money and get it done right the first time all right So, before I forget, okay, I want to make sure I didn't mention it in the beginning of the video that you guys make sure that the connect the, the seat belt connectors all the way plug. Okay, I did that early, so 
I just forgot to mention it right there on the beginning of the video, but anyhow. Oh, sorry. Yeah, my, my tool got stuck. See? It's going to come from, from the front. So, let me go here. gonna do sorry for the for the bad angle click it open it see just like that I'm gonna twist that's it that's how you remove this bar so this is what it goes bad when the car's in an accident obviously the seat belt is going to buckle there this is going to pull this wire so which is going to here break the resistance it's going to tell the computer oh oops an accident so this is going to trigger along with other part components working together simultaneously but as long as this is bad the you ABA, ABA airbag light is gonna be be on, so you have to uh, replace it. Okay, I believe uh, you can send this to be rebuilt, but I mean, you can rebuild it, you can send it, wait, and they're gonna ship it back. So it's a lot of time involved. You have the time and you don't need the vehicle and you take this apart and send it well you can save some money you know maybe i don't know how much money can you save you can save but i mean to me just get a new get done with it and um, you should be fine all right so this is how you do it so i'm going to reinstall everything here and I will continue filming to see the difference before and after. All right, guys, I'm done with this uh, seat belt. It's the new one. Obviously, you can see the old one all worn out here. Now is the moment of truth. We're going to uh, get this this thing on uh, her back. We're gonna make sure we see the difference between uh, the data make sure you don't forget remember to plug it in okay <laughs> that's frustrating when you do everything all the hard part and eventually like oh you forgot something okay we go back here hopefully you guys can see now driver seat bell pre-tension and deployment control ohms 250 okay two and a half 2.45 before we had 65.5 so that was pretty much like off limits so we we got this thing corrected and we can actually we actually confirm it so this time we're gonna go read those codes and we should have three when we clear the codes we should have two and the third one obviously is not gonna come back because we already correct that issue so I will make a video for the other two and clear it memory codes continue Let's see two got two so so far we call in this effects so see read it again only two I'm gonna address this one last one because it goes on the steering column all the way on the top but all the way on the back so and this for whatever reason is a key programming but that's referred so far to this pretension or two so we're getting that one this afternoon so it's going to be the same procedure for both of them for the driver's seat and the passenger seat so you can test it the same way and you should be able to 
find what the problem is find the evidence always find the evidence you don't want to be changing parts just because see if it's something that sticks so again if you stay this long on the video please uh, like the video comment share the video and more important subscribe to the channel now for this procedure okay I didn't need it to disconnect the battery this part was already bad and um, it's coats on it airbag is not gonna work so now however if you ever have to remove airbags like themselves disconnect the battery walk away for like 30 an hour if you want to it doesn't matter safety better this I didn't need it in case somebody want to comment that, that I didn't make a note there you have it and the most important if you don't feel comfortable working with airbag system or seat belts or anything like that take it to your local auto shop or somebody do you trust they know what they're doing so they can fix your problem and you don't have to expose and potentially get hurt by accidentally deploying the airbags all right so again this is gq auto diagnostics and repair once again thank you for checking the channel subscribe to the channel like the video share it comment it and i will see you on the next video god bless do you